pretty sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said which is a heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I had someone would finally take pity on me. Stupid woman that I am.
cannot kill him. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curve before you lunged at her, sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island, fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. I want to talk. You deaf damn it! I told you. Who are you? I'm a witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? Oi. Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course. Was not to her father's liking, his daughter in a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It's where Millie, Finch, and Faulkner they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the new. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. Then she drank the poison. Me, Mr. Gator. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please.
said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her. Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. What have I done? If I had just stayed behind to bury her... I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. There's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pesta. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. Way to help her. Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Go to the tower. Talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I don't 
thought she died. I'd never left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. Came through here, I still hoped to Annabelle and me. It weren't impossible, we could have been together, and now. She's dead! And it's my fault! If only I'd been able to protect her! Can't change the past. But you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. Remember the screams? Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. You've returned for me. Is 
Is... Is that... Don't you recognize him? Annabelle, I... I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. do anything for you. I would you. You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful. At last. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona.
You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the eye has been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me.